Sweden just made a bold and unexpected move that could change the future of its fighter jet program forever. The Gripen E, once considered a lightweight alternative to the F-35, is now at the center of a global power shift. And the key to saving it? Not a new missile, not stealth, but an engine. An engine that could redefine Sweden's independence from the United States. That engine comes from Rolls-Royce. And this partnership could rewrite the future of air power across Europe, Canada, and beyond. This is the shocking truth behind Sweden's bold move and how Rolls-Royce could save the Gripen E-F. For decades, Sweden's Gripen has been the symbol of affordable high-performance independence, a jet that could stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with NATO's best, without depending on American approval. But in recent years, the Gripen program has faced serious threats. U.S. engine control, export blockages, and rising competition from the F-35 and Eurofighter. Now Sweden is striking back with a deal that could transfer power back into its own hands. At the heart of this transformation lies Rolls-Royce, one of the world's most respected jet engine manufacturers. Here's how this partnership could not only save the Gripen E-F, but redefine who controls the skies of tomorrow. When Saab developed the first Gripen in the 1980s, it wasn't meant to be a superpower jet. It was meant to be a sovereignty jet. Sweden, neutral and surrounded by great powers, needed a fighter that could defend its skies without depending on foreign technology or endless logistics. The Gripen was fast, agile, and cheap to maintain. It could take off from icy highways, be refueled by six soldiers in 10 minutes, and fly with the efficiency of a commercial airliner. But as technology advanced, the Gripen faced a new challenge, staying competitive in the fifth generation era. The Gripen E and F variants were Sweden's answer, featuring ASA radar, advanced data links, and modern weapons integration. But there was one problem, the engine. The Gripen E currently flies with a GF414G39E engine, developed in the United States. It's powerful, reliable, and efficient, but it comes with political strings attached. Under U.S. export law, any fighter using American engines requires Washington's approval for foreign sales. That means if Sweden wants to sell Gripens to a non-NATO country, like Brazil, Malaysia, or India, the U.S. can veto the deal. And it has. In several past negotiations, Washington quietly blocked or delayed export clearances, undermining Sweden's global reach. Even upgrades and spare parts depend on American authorization. For an independent defense power like Sweden, that's unacceptable. So Saab and the Swedish government started exploring a daring idea. What if they replaced the engine entirely? In 2025, whispers began circulating through European defense circles. Saab was in talks with Rolls-Royce Defense, the same company behind the engines powering the Eurofighter Typhoon the British Tempest Project, and countless civil aircraft. Unlike GE or Pratt & Whitney, Rolls-Royce operates under European jurisdiction, giving Sweden the freedom it desperately craved. The concept, develop or adapt a non-US engine variant for the Gripen E-F, possibly based on Rolls-Royce's EJ200 or future power plants from the Tempest program. This wouldn't just give Sweden freedom from American veto power, it would create a fully European fighter jet, capable of competing with the US-dominated F-35 ecosystem. For years, Sweden's defense policy has been shaped by balancing neutrality with cooperation. But in today's world, with NATO expansion, Arctic tensions, and the war in Ukraine, full independence is more important than ever. By partnering with Rolls-Royce, Sweden gains more than an engine. It gains strategic autonomy. No more dependence on U.S. export licenses. No more delays in spare parts during crises. No more software access restrictions. In short, Sweden regains control of its defense destiny. This also strengthens ties with Canada, the U.K., and Italy, all exploring post-F-35 options. Canada, in particular, could benefit massively. Its partnership with Rolls-Royce Canada and Saab could mean domestic maintenance, engine assembly, and shared research on next-generation propulsion systems. That's not just a defense partnership, it's an economic alliance. To understand why Sweden needs this engine revolution, we need to understand its biggest rival, the F-35 Lightning II. The F-35 
35 dominates the global market with stealth, networking, and aggressive U.S. lobbying. Nearly every NATO country, from Germany to Finland, has joined the F-35 program. That left Gripen in the shadows. Even though it's cheaper, easier to maintain, and more reliable, the Gripen has struggled to compete politically. Most nations that wanted to buy it faced export pressure from Washington. So now, Sweden is taking the fight to the root cause, the engine monopoly. A new non-US engine would remove that barrier and make the Gripen a truly global fighter again. Rolls-Royce isn't just another manufacturer. It's one of the few companies in the world capable of building next-generation adaptive engines, capable of shifting between fuel efficiency and combat thrust in real time. They're already developing cutting-edge propulsion for the Tempest, the UK-led sixth-generation fighter. By collaborating with Saab, Rolls-Royce could create a scalable power plant that not only fits the Gripen today, but evolves into future aircraft designs tomorrow. The synergy is perfect. Saab brings agile airframe expertise. Rolls-Royce brings world-class propulsion. Together, they could give Europe a truly sovereign fighter ecosystem. A Rolls-Royce engine deal isn't just about freedom. It's about jobs, innovation, and prestige. Sweden would gain high-tech manufacturing contracts, research opportunities, and a chance to co-develop engine modules within Europe. It would also give the UK and Canada reasons to invest in Gripen infrastructure, building shared facilities for maintenance and upgrades. Imagine a Nordic Atlantic fighter network, Gripen E-F powered by Rolls-Royce engines, maintained across Canada, Sweden, and the UK, with all partners benefiting economically and technologically. This would rival the US F-35 network, but with far more flexibility and shared control. Gripen's greatest strength has always been cost efficiency. While an F-35 costs nearly $120 million per unit, Gripen E can be produced for around $65 million and at half the operational cost. If Rolls-Royce enters the equation, maintenance becomes even cheaper because service hubs could be built in Europe and Canada rather than shipping engines to the US. The result, lower costs, faster turnaround, and more strategic control. That's the formula smaller NATO members, like Norway, Czechia, and Croatia, have been waiting for. There's another dimension to this move, geography. As Arctic tensions rise, Sweden and Canada are taking on greater defense responsibilities in the north. Gripen's short runway capability and cold weather design make it ideal for Arctic operations. With Rolls-Royce's help, the Gripen's next engine could be optimized for extreme cold starts and longer endurance. Meanwhile, in Ukraine, the debate is growing. Should Sweden and its allies provide Gripen fighters to Kiev? If they do, a European-powered version could avoid export barriers, accelerating support for Ukraine's air defense without political red tape from Washington. That's a strategic game-changer. Of course, this path won't be easy. Developing a new engine takes billions of dollars, years of testing, and international certification. Saab must ensure that integrating a new power plant doesn't compromise flight dynamics or safety. There's also political risk. The U.S. could see this as a challenge to its aerospace dominance and might retaliate with trade or diplomatic pressure. But Sweden has history on its side. It's one of the few nations that successfully developed advanced fighters independently for decades. If anyone can do it, Saab and Rolls-Royce can. What's emerging is a fascinating alliance, Sweden, the UK, and Canada. Sweden brings Gripen and cold weather combat expertise. The UK brings Rolls-Royce and Tempest technology. Canada brings industrial support and Arctic testing environments. Together, they could form a tri-national fighter alliance, capable of producing and maintaining future jets across continents. And it all starts with this bold step, a new engine for Gripen. Here's the part few are talking about. This Rolls-Royce collaboration isn't just about saving Gripen. It's about building the foundation for Europe's next generation air dominance. Sweden's engine deal could feed directly into the Tempest program, creating shared components for both Gripen and the future sixth gen fighter. That means when Europe moves beyond Gripen, it won't be starting from scratch. It'll already have a proven, scalable engine, tested, refined, and ready. The Gripen engine project could become the stepping stone toward Europe's future air power. 
Sweden's move to partner with Rolls-Royce isn't just a technical upgrade. It's a declaration of independence. It's a statement that small nations can still lead through innovation, not submission. By cutting reliance on U.S. engines, Sweden is taking control of its future, politically, militarily, and economically. If successful, the Gripen E-F powered by Rolls-Royce could become the first truly sovereign European fighter of the 21st century. This isn't just about saving a jet. It's about redefining who holds the throttle of global power. And this time, it might not be Washington. It could be Stockholm. If you love uncovering the real stories behind global military shifts, the deals, the power plays, and the untold truths, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon right now. Because here on Military Power Play, we don't just report defense news, we decode it. Stay tuned and get ready for what's coming next in the skies above.